Chad, this is crazy. This is a crazy take on, on church. Hallelujah. Oh, no. Oh, this is not right. Wow. I got it all on my first day. And we're going to catch this criminal one way or the other. And he or she will pay. I really hope so. Because I don't know how much longer Timmy can go without treat. <laughs> Pastor McDaniels! <laughs> what brings you inside here? I, I, I thought you were going to meet with the police. Well, I, I was. Thirteen-year-old robs church for Vision Pro. Okay, bro. No, that's crazy. Thirteen-year-old robs a bank for Vision Pro. All right, whose kids are these? Whose kids are these, man? Well, this is mischief. Mikey is what they're calling this. He's so mischievous. Watch out for Mikey. When the tide bucket comes around, Mikey's gonna take the money. <laughs> Let's take a moment to reflect on God's blessing upon. He has provided us with video games and teams. Phone playing Roblox in church. Oh no! Nah. You should be paying attention. He has blessed us with talent, time, and well, I'm like you, I can multitask. As we considered the verse, he did not just say that to his God. Mom. Yet you are robbing me. Uh oh. Let it serve as a general reminder. That our offering is not a bird. Do not make me reconsider the deal we had for that stunchy pop at bank last week. Oh, nah, chat. Listen, making deals with kids, that's not the way to go about it, okay? You're the parent. You tell them what's good. And that's just that. You know what I'm saying? Making deals with kids is... That's why they end up like this. Steal it from a safe deposit box? Hey, listen, I'll take up the morning off. I am taking this to the car. Uh oh, the tide I bucket's going around. You got my iPad taken away. At least you still have your Vision Pro. That wasn't even his iPad. Which I'll also be borrowing soon. <laughs> Are you crazy? No way. Bro, what the heck going on? Bro, his mom just took somebody else's iPad. Why are you passing it to me? I'm not giving them my money. Well, you're supposed to, Mikey. It's an offering. I'm not offering nothing. Okay, why does that kid look like he's like 14 and he's talking like he's like 7? It's supposed to, Mikey. It's an offering. To tell you the truth, the church should be paying me for being here. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh-oh. Don't do it, Mikey. I know that look, Mikey. Don't even think about it. Look, if I can't have your Vision Pro, then I'm going to find another way I can buy my own. Ow! Are you doing what I think you're about to do? Steal from the church? Sweet mother. I can't believe you think I'd do that. You know how important our faith is to me? You shouldn't be so quick to accuse. No. Mikey. You know, as the Bible says. Mikey the devil. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. <laughs> Brother. Mikey is bad. Uh-oh. 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 Father notices something. Uh, he said, he said, hold on a second. Hey, we're down to 10. Who's gonna get it? Here's another dollar for you, Nikki. Sorry for interruption. Can you scream for me? Dude. Dude. Okay. Back to the video. Okay, so if I stole one hundred dollars from church every Sunday, <laughs> I have to wait. Thirty-five Sundays, bro. Thirty-five weeks. Oh no way! I am not waiting that long. Oh, you'll be waiting a long time, all right? In jail for stealing again. Mikey got bigger problems. Like, how are we gonna get that Vision Pro? So, wait. How often is church open? Because 
If I can go there more than once a week, I think Mikey, I can actually... don't think I forgot about earlier. Trying to steal from the Lord's house? Oh, you ought to what whip his ass. What is wrong with you? I, I wasn't stealing. Hey, you know what though? Well, you know what the word of God says. Spare the rod and spoil the child, mama. Now you know what's coming next, Mikey. Oh, yeah? Well, what were you doing then? I was examining the money to make sure it wasn't fake. I if anything, I, I was doing the Lord's work. Okay, he's crazy. I am not buying it. And because I want you to learn from your mistakes, I have decided that you will be going to church to volunteer every day till summer is over. No, this is actually a good thing for Mikey because now he's going to be there every single day, which means now homeboy can rack up his $3,500 in literally 35 days as opposed to 35 weeks. So mom, you just screwed yourself over. Starting next Sunday. What? I'm not going to go every day. Actually, I would love to go every day. <sighs> okay, actually. Here we go. You know what? I think I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go. Hmm. What is with that sudden change of mood? Because <clears throat> I realized... I'm going to get rich! <laughs> I need to repent more. And oh, no. I need to get my life on the right path. Well, for once, I'm happy that we agree on something. I'm going to go get dinner ready. That's crazy, bro. Hey, brother should have snitched. Oh, brother. One point for Mikey. Let's go. <laughs> okay, you take this one, Mikey. I'll write the receipt. Oh, I'll take that. I mean, the church appreciates your donation. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Miss Jones and her grandson are so grateful for everyone's support. Now this is crazy. I hope little Timmy gets well soon. Oh my God, bro, stealing from little Timmy's prayer request. Oh no. Chad, little Timmy's never gonna get better. Mikey! Howdy doing, Ali? <laughs> I what? heard we got ourselves another volunteer today, but I didn't know it was Kathy's boy. That's me. <laughs> How are we diddly doing on this fine day, shall we? Amazing. There's almost $10,000 in there. Oh, diddly do. Uh, what? Praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, yeah, I better take this back to my office for a second. Oh, wait. Who are you? And um, why are you taking the cash? <laughs> Silly diddly me. I mean, I apologize for not introducing myself earlier. You see, I am what they call the church treasurer, neighborino. <laughs> it's my diddly duty to handle all the financial matters right. for our beliefs. I don't know who's more sus, Mr. Diddly Do or Mikey. At this point, I think both of them are stealing from the church, to be honest. The church. Uh, you know, we surely wouldn't want to leave this cash out in the open, considering the recent robbery. No. Someone stole? From the church? Him. <laughs> My office got broken into and the cash got swiped away. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny stealing from the Lord. Isn't it? Mr. Diddly Do. It was him, chat. I'm going to spoil it. I just know it was him. All right. I can foresee these things. <laughs> yeah, Pastor McDaniels and I were feeling mighty devastated. <laughs> hey, you look, know, though. It's just a sad reminder. You don't know who you can trust these days. Look, Mikey... Hey, game knows game. Mikey's like, hmm, interesting there. Interesting. I know that you stole it, but this lady right over here, she's too good. She's too good. All she sees is happiness and, you know, butterflies and all that jazz. So, yeah, 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 you guys are fantastic. But the question is, can I trust you? Uh-oh. Flanders want to be. I gotta go check up on him. <clears throat> Do you not hear this kid talking to himself the whole time?
in the Phineas and Ferb is going on right now? They're on a mission. Why does this dude keep turning around like this? There's a bunch of NPCs in this. Oh, check this out. Uh-oh. Jack and Jack. Jackety Jackpot? Bro already jumped into the prayer circle. How did they not know? Bro just randomly showed up to the prayer circle and they all just let him run it. Okay, bro. There's a lot going on here. Hey, where you going? Don't you want to pray with us? That's okay. Sorry, my prayer's been answered. Oh, Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. My prayer's been answered. Hey! Selfish behind, but pray for others. Come on. Oh, My prayer's been answered. Child. Chad, this is crazy. This is a crazy take on on church. Hallelujah. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is not right. Wow. I got it all on my first day. This should be enough. Oh, like he didn't hear that. Oh my goodness. You don't see this kid right underneath you? Uh oh. Oh no, he dropped another 100. Oh, he didn't see your fingers. Right. Chat, he would have been caught. Let's be honest. He would have definitely been caught. We're getting close. But regrettably, we haven't reached the full amount needed yet. I don't understand, Pastor McDaniel. I talked to Treasurer Joe, and he said we had a great day today. So combine what we got today with the money from last time? Yeah, yeah, well, we haven't publicly addressed this yet, but there's a thief in our congregation. And all the money we raised the last time, it's gone. Oh, how could someone steal from the church? Uh, trust me, Mikey. you're preaching to the choir now, but don't you worry. I firmly believe the truth will come out in the end. And we're gonna catch this criminal one way or the other, and he or she will pay. I really hope so, because I don't know how much longer Timmy can go without treat. <laughs> <laughs> Treatment for what? He looks at his spine. Timmy really put his head down and said, <laughs> This is sad for real. All right. I don't know, chat. Maybe Timmy really does have something really going on. Hey, man. This leukemia is getting worse. Oh, no. Nah, I'm fucked up, right? Yep. Oh, no. Nah. His leukemia? Oh, so it's in her, bro. We, we can't even see it yet. Oh, fuck. Why couldn't she have said that first, bro? That changes everything. All right, bro. Little Timmy needs his treatment, for real. It breaks my heart seeing him like this. Oh, when no. am I going to get better, Grandma? I don't want to be sick anymore. Oh, soon, no. Honey, soon. I promise. I promise. Oh, frick. <sighs> Timmy's going to be okay, guys. Don't worry about it. All right? We'll figure it. We'll figure this out one way or another. Oh, come on, bro. Hand him the money. Hand him. Oh, no. You still st Okay, good. You're going to put it back. He's going to put it back, chat. It's all good. What? What happened to all the money? Red Shoes took it. No, 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 no. Oh, well, no. do, Mikey. Um, what on earth brings you in here? I, I, I can explain. No need for explanations, young man. I just simply can't believe you're the thief. No, 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 no. Look at his shoes. I, I, okay. Hold a minute. I originally did steal some cash. I took $3,500 because I really wanted the Apple Vision Pro. But I had to change of heart when I realized it was going to help Mrs. Jones' sick grandson. So when I came back, I tried to put the money away, but I realized it was gone. So it had to have been someone else. Okay, look. Wait, 
now I'm even more confused than I was before. He was going to put the money back, but it's gone. Half of it was gone, right? You lost me there, Timmy. I thought you had the money on you. Why would you need to go put back what's already there? Duh. Or, I mean, Mikey, whatever his name is. I took $3,500. It was originally 10000 right? Oh, okay, that's why. That's why. I got nothing else on me. Service is about to commence. Oh. Is everything all right in here, Joe? Well, Pastor McDaniels, I'm not quite sure. You see, I just caught this young whippersnapper in the act of pilfering from the cash box. However, there seems to be a discrepancy with the amount of money. And he's claiming somebody else took it. Yeah, I should have known it was Mikey. Oh. You know, he has a oh. reputation for bad behavior. Oh! What? No, I don't. That's crazy. Dang. Maybe I do, but but I still didn't do it. His mother should be joining. Chat, you're saying Timmy stole it? No, that'd be crazy. What if Timmy's lying about leukemia? No, that can't be it, right? Chat, if that's it, now that's f***ed up. We'll see, but that better not be it. And us for services today. Perhaps we should tell her what transpired. Oh, I have a better no. idea. Let's not only tell his mom. Let's tell everybody. Let's tell the whole congregation. Ooh. Come with me, Mikey. Now. <sighs> oh, dang, bro. That's going to sting. Uh-oh. What's it mean? Y'all going to have to find a new church, bro. Uh-oh. What kind of shoes does he got? All right, what we got going on? Bro, let me see this man's shoes. I need to know if they're red. <laughs> Good morning, my beloved congregation. Today, it is with a heavy heart that I must address a troubling matter. As many of you are aware, we have been raising funds for Miss Jones' grandson, Timmy, for his long medical treatments. Uh-oh. One would think our efforts would be enough if it was not for the action of a thief. <laughs> Bro's crying everywhere. He's crying so hard, he's fucking crying out of his hair at this point. Damn. And yeah, we call that sweat chat. He's sweating. Bro is stressed right now. He's sweating out of his nose. Up among us. No. No, don't let it be. As I've often said, it is, the mama. truth will always come out in the end. Oh, dang. Our Lord and Savior has not only blessed us with the discovery, but the identity of that said culprit. No. And it saddens me to say it is the one and only Mikey Miller. <gasps> Treasurer Joe will fill you all in on the details. Well, howdy doodly, everybody. I'm here to share some sad news. Mikey not only took the money, but he kept on fibbing till the very end. That's he crazy. had the audacity to say he was just putting it back when I caught him. And you know what? I almost fell for it. I almost did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if you had escaped unnoticed. Chat, Mr. Diddly Do is the villain. See, now it's a whole plot twist. Now we all feel bad for Mikey. He was, he was bringing it back, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't gonna let little Timmy not get his leukemia treatment. Timmy stole it? Chat, stop saying that. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. You might be on to something, though. We'll see. It wouldn't even really mattered, young man. You see, that cash in the box was a fake. I had a hunch that somebody had been pilfering. <laughs> the real money is hidden in a tiny red envelope, snug as a bug, in my office. <laughs> I hope you learned your lesson, Mikey. You know, if there's one thing we all know about Some Mikey sus. Miller, is that he never learns. Oh, damn! But maybe he'll listen this time. The police are outside. I'm going to talk to them. Service will resume shortly. Bro, they're gonna send a minor to jail. This is crazy, bro. They're really going in on Mikey. Damn, Mikey going to jail. Maybe, I don't know. He's probably not, but you know. <clears throat> Thank you for the sub. Michael Miller, I am so angry with you right now. Ooh. You are nothing but a, a 
low life criminal. Oh, dang. Actually, Miss Miller, Mikey might be a hero. Huh? What? Uh oh. I can't lie. I was thinking that earlier, but Mr. Diddly Do was too obvious. So I went with that. But now this is crazy. He's keeping Timmy from getting leukemia. That's, or I mean, <laughs> keeping him from getting leukemia treatment. Timmy already has leukemia, guys. It's, it's unfortunate, but you know, there's no change in that. Treatment Pastor one, McDaniels! <laughs> what brings you inside here? I, I, I thought you were going to meet with the police. Well, I, I was. Uh, at first, but I, I need to... Uh... You wanted to steal the money? Well, Damn! Here's a little surprise for you. That original money, that indeed was the real deal. That little red envelope speech was just a little trap I set, knowing that the true thief would come sniffing around for it. And what do you know, Pastor McD... Wait a second! Mr. Diddly Do is like a hole behind... He's a detective! Chat, he's a, he's a full-blown detective. I like this guy now. Dang, who would have known? He really, they really do be hiding right in plain sight. He's, he's the real deal. Daniels. Look at that mastermind, right? right into my trap. And totally got caught red-handed. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Literally. Wow. That's good. That's real good. As if me, the pastor, would be stealing from his own people. Well, Pastor McDaniels does have a point. Unless there's any proof, all of it seems like hearsay. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe Joe's the guilty one. Whoa. He's not really controlling all the money. Maybe we should be looking at him. Wait! Oh, another plot twist. He's got a point. He's got a point. Mr. Daily Dude's looking a little sus right now. Wait a second. Wait a second. Anthony, excuse me. I have a sermon to preach. Yeah, well, you wait a second. These are your shoes. Yeah, so? Oh. So, the person I saw stealing in here had those exact shoes on. Okay, now it's back on the pastor. Look. It's him. <laughs> Confirmed. Huh. I even took a picture. Same ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are the exact same shoes, but what's the, what does that prove? Nothing. Nothing at all. I can go anywhere I please around here. This is my church. Look, unless there's any concrete evidence like a video, a witness, or even the stolen cash, I'm afraid there's nothing that we can do. Oh. Uh. The Bible. It has everything y'all need. We all know the Bible has a lot of great things we all need. No, but... no, 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 no. I mean, it's a secret compartment where he stores all the cash. Look. Oh. Hey, get over here! Oh, get shoot! <laughs> hey, they just tripped an old man, but in this scenario, it had to happen. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, golly diddly. Here's the cash. <laughs> you know what? If it wasn't for Mikey, we would have never found it. Oh, man. <laughs> That's good. diddly. <laughs> oh, what a pickle. So Mikey's a good bad guy, is the best way to put it. <sighs> no, he's just well, a kid, bro. Howdy doodly, everybody. <laughs> I reckon it's time to give Mikey a big old apology. He's a fine example of how folks can change their ways. Sure, he may have slipped up at first, but he turned it around the end. And without Mike, we would have never caught that no good thief, Pastor McDaniels. <laughs> Anything you want to say, Mikey? Sure. Watch Mikey be like, sure. Would everybody please open their Bibles to uh, John chapter four? <laughs> Bro turns into the pastor like that. That'd be that'd be a real plot twist, right? <clears throat> pastor McDaniel's is right. The truth always comes out in the end. You're gonna pay for this, Mikey. You can count on it. <laughs> really. Cause I think they have a real special place in what was jail. That? Oh. For people like you. Get him out of here. <laughs> Why did Mikey say that like he's calling the shots now? Bro said. 
Hey, stop right there. All right, now get him out of here. Bro really thinks he's him. <laughs> Look at the way he's looking at him. I am so proud of you, Mikey. Oh, what the I'm still f proud of you. Man. Now he gets all the hoes. I'm also proud of you. I'm just kidding. That's his mom, but I mean, still, you know? No. Thank yeah, you. you're actually telling the truth for once. Maybe church is paying off after all. Okay, why the f does this 14 year old literally talk like he's fresh out the womb? Listen, slick back. Shut the f up, please. Well, I can let the cat out of the bag on this one. We put together a reward for the person who caught the feet. How much was that thing you wanted? 3,500? Um, the Vision Pro? Yeah, it was that much. Well, here you go, Mikey. Hey! And here's the best part. You diddly deserved it. <laughs> Why does he say diddly so much, bro? Like, I just don't understand. Bro, he's nine? You're telling me that 14-year-old kid is nine? That's some cap right there. Even at nine, he still talks like he's he's younger than nine. He can talk however he wants. I really don't give a shit. Bro, what about little Timmy? <laughs> I forgot about little Timmy. They just gave this man thirty five hundred dollars for a vision pro. <laughs> little Timmy doesn't get his leukemia treatment. Oh no! Chat, I'm praying right now that Mikey right here takes the thirty five hundred and goes and gives it to little Timmy. It might happen. We'll see. We got like. 50 seconds left. One can only hope. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Look, he's gonna do the right thing. See? He sees little Timmy. <laughs> Grandma was sitting there like... I and everywhere like, you've gotta be joking me. There's no way this little kid's about to get his vision pro. And we're literally gonna watch little Timmy die in suffering with cancer. This is crazy. Chat, I'm foreshadowing though. I think he's gonna do the right thing, okay? <laughs> Actually, I think I could do something better with this money. Come on! You know what would be crazy right now? Is if instead he said, nah, I don't want Apple Vision Pro. I want the new MacBook, yeah! <laughs> fucking ran past Timmy, swiped the money across his cheek and just fucking booked it. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Aww. But that would be funny. Only because it's not real. You know what I'm saying? So little Timmy doesn't actually have cancer. <laughs> all right. This is a little dramatic. Let's be honest. We all know he doesn't actually got leukemia, right? He just started coughing. He was in there the whole time. I didn't hear one cough in the background. And now when they walk up to him, he... <coughs> Rose on his last breath. Just like that. Chat. Cancer takes time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a fake cough. Oh, there you go, little Timmy. Oh, all of a sudden he feels better once he feels some some green cash in his hand. Once he feels some of them damn Benjamin Franklins. Out of nowhere. Look, look at how he perks up real quick. Look at that. Maybe. He all of a sudden said, <coughs> My cough is gone. Guys, I'm healed. Guys, the Lord is real. Jesus took it away just like that. Like, come on. Little Timmy, go get your dang treatment now. Oh, maybe Mikey has changed. Oh. I'm calling it right now. Pastor Mikey. Come on, chat. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Timmy just... <laughs> <laughs> the tongue out money sign. I told you guys, he really did stop coughing. Now, that comment made me laugh, low-key. Hey, W Mikey, though, for real, bro. Like, this was actually a mad W. Like, he did the right thing in the end. And now, um, homeboy's gonna get the treatment that he needs. Every everybody wins. The pastor went to jail. It's just like, this is a beautiful, beautiful story. You know what I mean? Mister Diddly Do. I don't know what he's gonna do. Probably go on to like get a detective job somewhere.